Koyamora, Salbona, and hello everyone. I'm Jenny Melsop. Today, the encounter that we're going to be looking at is feeding the starving multitude of 5,000 people. And this encounter is found in Luke 9, verse 10 to 17. To summarize this encounter, Jesus was healing people and the crowds kept following him. There was a crowd of 5,000 people who needed food and the disciples told Jesus to send them away because they didn't think they could feed them with only five loaves of bread and two fish. But Jesus told them not to send them away. In this story, Jesus says to them, you feed them. Jesus then blesses this food that they had and then performs a miracle and the 5,000 people are able to eat. Plus, there was still leftovers. Come on, anytime there is leftover food, that is a good time. You know, Jesus was moved with compassion, with the need of the 5,000 people in front of him. He didn't want to send them away. He wanted to help them. His compassion wasn't just a feeling, it was an action. He had compassion for them. Then he did a miracle to feed them. Jesus is Jehovah Jireh, our provider and our miracle worker. What the disciples had wasn't enough on their own, but when Jesus intervened and blessed the food, there was a miracle and the 5,000 were fed. Jesus is our provider. Jehovah Jireh, he is our miracle worker. He wants to meet our needs. No matter the size of them, he wants to do miracles in our lives. The disciples were having a human moment in this story, thinking how in the world can we feed 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish? They were not seeing it through faith. I believe that they would have learned that problems are often platforms for God to do miracles. Obstacles are often opportunities to see God move in our lives. They learn to have faith and believe God can do miracles when we're faced with a need or a problem in front of us. Jesus wanted to use them to be part of the miracle. When he said, you feed them to the disciples, they would have learned that Jesus loves to use his people to bless others and be his hands and feet to show others love. You know, next time you're faced with a need or a problem right in front of you, don't depend on yourself, but depend on God to meet that need. Look to Jehovah Jireh, our provider, our miracle worker. Think. Could the obstacle be an opportunity to see God do a miracle? Could it be an opportunity for you to be the hands and feet of Jesus to love others? Let God into the need or problem and have faith and believe for God to do miracles. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider, our miracle worker.